Remember to stay hydrated, and today we're going to be talking about Ranger Eyes. This is a really deep rabbit hole, guys, and a lot of you guys are really interested in these patches. I'm going to talk about the different brands that I personally like a lot and then where to purchase them. So for now, sit back, relax, and let's get it. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Everyday Minimalist. My name is Brandon and today we're going to be diving super deep into the rabbit hole that we call Ranger Eyes. A lot of you guys have been asking for this video for the past few months now, so I thought I would make it before the end of the year. We'll be discussing what Rees are in the first place, how I personally find my Rees, what type of Rees are out there, how I store my Rees, and then I'll probably give you guys a few of my favorite brands at the end of the video. And if you guys stay tuned, I'll be giving away a few of my V2 patches. We'll talk about this here in just a moment, but first off, let's talk about Ranger Eyes. What are they? What do they do? What's the purpose? Ranger Eyes or Rees are these small, tiny PVC patches that you can really just customize your EDC loadout if your pouch, backpack, or whatever you're carrying has hook and loop. For those of you guys that don't know what hook and loop are, it's very simple. Just imagine Velcro, you've got the rigid side and then the fluffy side. And when you go to merge the two, they stick together. So that's what it means when a pouch has like hook and loop. So for example, this is the Mighty Pouch Plus. This is my Christmas theme one because Christmas is only a few days away, but this pouch has built in loop. So all the patches are gonna have the hook side. You can literally just slap them on and then they just adhere. But in terms of Ranger Eyes, you can get a bunch of different patches. These things are literally mini pieces of art that you can put onto your pouch or backpack, like I said before, and you can design it however you want. There's a bunch of different patches out there. So if you are into like more anime stuff from like Castle Grayscale, if you like video games, you could probably go to like Smash Brothers. Or hell, if you even wanted to get into designer stuff, we've got two Louis Vuitton coffins here from Data Crew, and you can even have sneaker boxes. These things are just so cool to collect. I've been doing it for about two years now, and my collection has amassed to a ton of of different reads. So what value do Ranger Eyes bring to your EDC loadout? If you're into pouches, this is the first thing that you're probably gonna wanna do, especially if it has hook and loop up front, is you're gonna wanna theme it out and make it kind of your own. For me personally, I don't even really care about the collectability part of it, more so the fact that I want to match up colors and put together something that's gonna really just look nice and color coordinated. Next, I wanna talk about pricing. These things can range anywhere from $5 to a few hundred dollars if you're getting a very limited patch. And of course you're not buying that, you know, two to $300 patch directly from the person that's dropping it, but more so on the secondary market. So these things are extremely collectible and there are tons of different communities within each brand, for example. You'll see within these Facebook groups, there are a lot of these BST threads and that's buy, sell and trade. So a lot of times when I'm buying on the secondary market, I'll go into one of those groups and then basically scroll through and find a specific range ride that kind of appeals to me. The best one that I can recommend recommend to you guys is the Reclub. They're very exclusive, so you might need to follow them on Instagram to get in. Because the Reclub is so exclusive, you usually have to have someone in the group already to invite you in or at least vouch for you. This kind of eliminates all the scammers that are out there trying to buy, you know, this $100 to $200 re and then just taking the re and then not paying someone. But a good way to get in is to join my Everyday Minimalist Discord server. There are a few of my guys that are already in the Reclub, and then if you guys make some connections there, they might be able to vouch for you. Anyways, let's get back to the pricing. So why can a Ranger Eye cost $15 and then all the way up to $300? Now this is kind of in relationship to streetwear. For example, if you're to go buy a pair of Royal Ones for $150, those are some sneakers, right? Maybe they're 175 and then you resell them for $400. The reason why it's worth so much is because of the limited quantities. And for example, Nike is gonna only put out 20 pairs of these Royal One sneakers, and there's 300 people that enter the raffle to win one of 20 pairs. If you so happen to win the sneakers and you bring it outside, someone's gonna offer you even more money for it. The same thing goes for Ranger Eyes. So when you see the Ranger Eyes sell out within minutes or even seconds, then you'll probably know that the Ranger Eye maker is really well known, or they put out super limited products and that's how the price skyrockets. The retail price, it could have been 15 to 30 bucks and then it could resell for a hundred to $200. My camera and microphone died at the same exact time. That's never happened before. So if my background changed, that's exactly why. But now I want to go ahead and talk about my most favorite Ranger Eye makers. There's a bunch on this list and I've already named a few. Just to kick it off, my number one most favorite maker of all Ranger Eyes is going to be Jamie with JRW gear. 
Jamie is an artist at heart. You can tell with all of his hard goods like the accomplice and the curators, but when it comes to his ranger eyes, they just have such good designs. He has a bunch of different colors on top of that, and I just really enjoy the high quality product that he puts out. The only disadvantage to the JRW patches is how hard they are to get. Basically, Jamie will drop a set and they'll sell out within seconds, so I would suggest that you guys go follow him on Instagram in order to get in on a drop. The next brand that stands out to me is going to be Castle Grayscale or CXG. Mark over at Castle Grayscale is an artist and he knows exactly what he's doing when he's putting together a design. Here are a few examples of his designs and I just really dig his overall theme. He likes to stick with a couple colors if not one color and I adore the fact that he actually redesigns things in his own taste like the Morton Salt Girl for example. I feel like Mark is innovating the patch game and more power to him. You guys should definitely check out his patches. He has the same issue as JRW where the patches sell out instantly. So definitely follow Mark at Castle Grayscale on Instagram as well. Next up is going to be a streetwear inspired brand and that's going to be Stacks or High Stacks. Steve over at High Stacks is actually a sneakerhead as well. So we kind of connected in that way in DMs. And I just really dig that he put together his like V1 sneaker boxes. Those things stand out so well. And he's even done collaborations with Data Crew, which is pretty cool as well. Stacks is also a really good reputable brand. I definitely recommend you guys checking out his stuff as well. Now the next few are not in any particular order. I just wanted to name them off and not really go in depth with them, but Everyday Patches, Smash Brothers, Lousy Values, Starco Gear, Mads Creations, Notorious EDC, and these are all brands that I can recommend to you guys. Last but not least, let's talk about Ranger Eye Storage. I personally use this one Tigress binder. It was like 16 bucks off of Amazon. I'll be leaving a link in the description below, but this just helps me organize all of my patches. And how I do it is basically my most favorite patches, second favorite patches, and then I just put all of my other scrap patches there. This patch book comes with four different pages, which is super convenient because you could probably fit a couple hundred one by one patches in here. Now, for those of you guys that are looking for something a little bit more high end, it's only about 24 bucks. You can pick up the Pack Maxi patch book. This thing is actually more so of a zip up binder and it does have like a clear shell on the front so you can actually see into the binder without opening it up. My brother Balin actually showed me this one because he had purchased it for his own Ranger Eye collection. And for those of you guys that know him, he has a lot lot of money invested into his Castle Grayscale collection. If I had known that that was an option, I would have totally picked that one over this one just because it will protect all of your patches from all the dust that's around. And if you've invested a lot of money into your collection, it's just a really good option. Aside from that, guys, that's what I've got for Ranger Eyes. Don't worry, I did not forget about the giveaway. And here are the rules. All you have to do is go into the comment section below, tell me what your most favorite Ranger Eye is and what pouch you would put it on. If you don't have Ranger Eye, or you don't have a pouch, tell me the ones that you're looking for and just let me know in the comments. I'll be giving away two of these total live on stream with Balin on December 27th or next Tuesday. So make sure that you guys have your notification bells on that way you guys can attend. Thank you guys so much for dropping by and I guess we'll have to catch you on the next one. Peace out.